I'd like to close out our discussion on using CSS to control tables with a quick conversation on controlling and formatting table captions. Now, I showed you an example of a table caption way back when. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to show you, of course, how to actually format and control that table caption using CSS. So give me a moment here. I'm going to flip back over to my code. And we're going to have to go and find our table inside our document and, of course, go and insert a caption. And don't forget, the caption has to appear below the opening table tag, right in here, in other words. So I'm going to type in open angle bracket, caption, close angle bracket, and then don't forget to close your caption element there as well. And then inside your capture element, go ahead and type in some sort of a table caption. Maybe I'll type in just something simple, imports data. How's that? Save that up. You want to have a quick look at this guy inside your browser. There we go. The table caption appearing above our table, imports data. Wonderful. All right, now how can we actually go about formatting this guy? Well, again, back over to my code, what I could do is I could create a class rule to format this specific table caption and then apply that class rule to the opening caption tag. Or what I could do is I could actually redefine what it means to be a caption. So I'm going to scroll up into my internal style sheet here, and I'm going to go and redefine caption just like this. Okay, so this is using an HTML selector, of course. Open my squiggly brackets, and then I would go to town here. So maybe I'll do something like font hyphen size, full colon space, and I'll make this guy, let's try 13 point. Maybe I'll make this guy italicized. I'll go font hyphen style and then italic, save this up. Let's go and see how this is looking, refresh. There we go, something like that. And maybe that text is a little bit too big, so of course I can always come back here and shrink it down a little bit if I so choose. Here's something else that we could do if I go back and refresh. Maybe I want to push the table caption away from the top edge of the table itself. Now, any ideas as to how to pull that off? This is using a property that we've already seen. And earlier I was referring to it as space around the outside of the rectangular space or the rectangular object margin, specifically margin bottom. So check this out. I'm going to go back to my code here and I'm going to throw in margin hyphen bottom full colon space and then throw in some kind of a value. Like maybe I'll try five pixels, something like this save and then refresh. There we go. So now I've pushed the actual table away from the caption itself, which is pretty cool. So you can use whatever value you want. I'm just kind of showing you a couple of quick examples here. Pretty neat stuff. There's one other CSS property that I want to show you that is specific to table captions, and that is changing the position of the actual caption itself. By default, as you can see here, the caption appears across the top of the table, if for whatever reason I want to have the caption appear across the bottom of the table, then I'm going to make use of what's referred to as the caption side CSS property. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to flip back over to my code, look for my caption there, and then I'm going to go and throw in caption dash side, just like this, full colon space. Now we really have just two values that we can make use of. We can use top, which is the default or we can use bottom. So go ahead and save that. And then refresh your browser. And now the table caption appears across the bottom of the table. There's how you can use CSS to control your table captions.